Hello everybody, welcome to my final seventh session on Proactive Not Paralysed. I do hope that you found the series helpful and beneficial for you in these challenging times and that you've gleaned some kind of support from them in order to help things be a little easier for yourselves. Um, today's final session is about um, offering you emotional strength and stability in these challenging times. And I'm just going to talk briefly about some very powerful remedies which I use with my clients all the time. They're the batch, or some people pronounce them buck, flower remedies. The most popular one that many people have heard of is rescue remedy, but some people don't know that there's actually a range of 40 different remedies, um, all for different emotional states. Um, rather than going through the ones which I feel would be most beneficial for people in the current situation, what I'll do is I'll write it up in the comment section in the post. Um, but what they can cover is helping people um, recover their balance in terms of feeling overwhelmed, feeling exhausted, having constant troubling thoughts running round their heads. Um, a huge anxiety or over-concerned for loved ones, um, thoughts or troubles about cleanliness and germ phobia, um, utter exhaustion, and of course different um, elements of fear or in fact outright terror. Um, so I'll write the comments from which remedies are um, most applicable to these different emotional states. But what's worth noting is that they are fantastic with children. And right now, I think children more than anyone, whilst they may not necessarily be showing that their mood may or their uh, mental well-being may be affected by this because they do tend to crack on. They are like sponges. They are absolutely soaking up what is going on around them and the way that we as adults are coping. So please do administer these both to yourselves and to your children should you feel that they're relevant. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk today about was um, tapping, tapping on meridian beginning or end points. Um, in particular, again, with regards to boosting the immune system, a common and obvious theme for this session of uh, recordings, um, but also tapping with positively worded statements to counteract fear or anxiety. So the what you choose to say within these statements is very much up to you. And actually, if you can take a moment and uh, just come to some kind of rest and think about a statement which feels good and necessary intuitively to you, that in some ways will be better than anything that I can give you. But it may well be that one of the statements that I speak about today may be the one that resonates with you and you wish to use. So. The first one we're going to do is tapping on the spleen point um, and the end of the spleen meridian falls just on the side of the torso in line with where the lower part of your bra strap would be if you're a lady. Um, so just about here. I find it easier to cross my hands over and gently tap but some people may prefer to do it like this. Now the spleen is all to do with your body's immunity and your body's ability to fight infection. So I would recommend for when we're tapping these points, something along the lines of my body is robust, my body is healthy, my body is able to cope with all physical challenges that come its way. Anything along those lines of being healthy, robust, a strong immunity, anything like that, you choose the statement, it needs to be positively worded. So we're not going to be saying things like, I will not go down with the coronavirus. We're not even mentioning that. We are focusing purely on the positive. And instead of saying, I will or I want, it's going to be, I am. I am healthy. I am robust. I am full of energy. I am capable of um, living a healthy and healthy life full of vitality anything along those lines so you will choose the statement it might be one statement it might be two statements and whilst repeating that statement you're tapping these points the other points that it might be beneficial to tap are the inside of where the eye meets the nose and I'm closing my eyes just to make sure I don't poke myself in the eye and just below the collarbone so you'll feel the ridge of your collarbone here and you come to the centre an inch or so apart and you drop down slightly. Now these two points link to the bladder and the kidney but more importantly on an emotional level they link to the emotion of fear 
And right now, obviously, understandably, many people are anxious and fearful. So when we're tapping these points, we can be thinking of any positively worded statement that will counteract fear. So I am confident. My loved ones and I are safe and healthy. I can cope in challenging situations. Anything like that. Again, take a moment, think to yourself, what is it right now which I'm finding challenging or debilitating? And how can I turn that around into a positively worded statement that will fill my body and my cellular energy with a positive intent, with strength and with resolution, with resolve. So you're thinking about positively worded statements and you're tapping whilst repeating them under the collarbone and in the inner corner of the eyes. And this is anything that will negate fear or anxiety. So those are the two things, the remedies, which like I say, are really quite easily purchased or procured. And also the tapping with either the statements that I've mentioned, or even better if you can, some statements worded to your own particular needs. I'm not able to offer hands-on physical treatments at the moment for obvious reasons, but I am able to take um, and receive video consultations where I can talk through health issues. I have dozens of really powerful techniques at my disposal, which I can share with you in order to help you either address current health issues or just to boost your immune system. Lots of remedies I can recommend, lots of nutritional products which could be highly beneficial for you. So if you're interested in a video consultation with significantly reduced rates, then please do get in touch. Otherwise, do follow my page. That would be very much appreciated, Kinesiology with Louise Bourne. And I will be putting things up here and there as they come into my, um, you know, my attention that I feel might be worth sharing with you. Um, lastly, just one last thing, think about what you give your time and attention to. If you choose to give your time and attention to media, to social media, to sharing panic, sharing fear, sharing anxiety, you will only be strengthening that within your well-being and within your life. So can I please recommend, if you possibly can, really limiting um, to what is entirely necessary and appropriate your interaction with the craziness around us and try to be in the here, in the now, appreciating what you do have, what can you do with these new experiences that we're all going through? If you have gained time now, how are you going to spend that time? And see wherever you possibly can if there's any positive angle to all this. Because actually, for most people, somewhere, there will be something really positive and beneficial that they can achieve during these challenging times. Look after yourselves, look after each other. See you on the other side.